the moment you, you give yourself to this man, that is the moment they'll stop calling you all the time, they'll stop mm -hmm. texting you all the time, yeah. they'll... Okay, let's go back to it. I think we're good away from the topic. <laughs> okay. But you know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge topic to talk about. It's, it's wide. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Godly Relationships where my mission is to preach Jesus Christ and to impact people like you with the word of wisdom. I am your host Sally and today we'll be talking about the real reasons why men sleep around. Allow me to speak a word of blessing over your life in the name of Jesus. I speak healing, I speak restoration in your life in Jesus name. I also speak that you accept Christ into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. May the peace that surpasses all understanding be with you now and forevermore in Jesus name. Amen. amen and amen so this is the first time I'm actually having a guest in my videos this is my first time I'm really excited and still nervous at the same time but <laughs> <laughs> she is my best friend and I'd like her to introduce herself tell us where she's coming from yes we get to know her just a bit before we begin okay my name is Zitra Amani uh, I'm from Kitui, <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, and uh, I'm a manager, I'm a hotelier, and uh, also I'm a real estate advisor, yeah, and I'm so happy to be here. Welcome, welcome. Thank Karen you, Sarah. thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. So I'd like to give a big shout out to Parkside Villa in Kitui. They have given us this wonderful space and also wonderful breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. So they've given us this space. Wonderful breakfast. If you are in Kitui or you plan on visiting Kitui or if you ever visit Kitui, don't leave without visiting this place. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very nice place. They have very nice food. Mm -hmm. The environment is so calm. Yes. Yeah. It's somewhere you can just come, have a good time, just yeah. relax. Yeah. yeah. It's family friendly. Yeah. Even for younger people, you can come here. Even for older people, yeah. yes, it's this is the place to be. Yeah, it's a five-star hotel, yeah. Parkside Villa yeah. in Kitui. Yeah. Yes. So I want us to go straight to our topic. Why do men sleep around? Why do men sleep around? Because I've really heard this a lot, and sometimes society deems men sleeping around. As I know when actually when a, when a lady is sleeping around, she'll be given all sorts of very bad names, mm -hmm. and she'll be looked down upon. And well, in the real sense, men are actually the gender that sleeps around mostly. That is mm -hmm. what I think, from my yes. view. I think men sleep around because they're just perverted. They just mm -hmm. lack self control. Mm -hmm. They just want to sleep around. And maybe feel good about themselves. They are, oh, they just want to satisfy that urge of wanting to just have sex, sex. without yeah. actually thinking what that is doing to that lady they're sleeping around with. Oh. Even themselves, actually. Yeah, even themselves. Because yeah, sleeping with multiple women it drains your soul. Because it does. It yeah, does. It, it does drain you. Soul. Yes. Yeah. You lose compassion. You lose. Oh feelings you lose that affection because now you're, you, you're just sleeping around you're not having sex meaningful sex oh which should be in which should be in marriage yeah another reason that men sleep around is for validation should men think that men if i sleep with uh, 10 15 30 women 40 women i'm the man yeah little yeah. do they know that they lose themselves mm. bit by bit by sleeping with each and every woman. Even if you sleep with one woman many times, you keep on losing yourself each and every time. Mm -hmm. And you never know. You might sleep with a harlot because the Bible says that whoever sleeps with a harlot is one with them. So can you imagine being one with all these people I just know. to validate yourself? yourself. Just to I be I seen. Why, I don't know why men actually find pride in the number of people they've slept with. I have interacted with so many ladies that feel so bad about the little people that they have already slept with. Yeah. And uh, 
uh, I even met a lady actually that pierces herself every time she sleeps with a new man. What? Yes. Where? Here? In this country? <laughs> yes, in this country. In, why? Yeah. Where does she pierce herself? Uh, on the body no, or? Just, he, yeah, she has a, a couple of uh, piercings. So I asked her, why do you have all these piercings? Mm -hmm. She said that she does that so that she can control herself because she realized wow. she's actually addicted to sex. Wow. The moment she sleeps with a new person, she makes sure she has a piercing, a new piercing. Yeah, that's too much baggage. Yeah, that is too much baggage to carry. Why don't you just not sleep around anyway? Yeah. Or just stop, you know, because think about it, it's, 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 it's so sad. It's sad. Yeah. I, I wanted to say it's so sad. It is so sad. And friends, let me remind you, there's nothing you cannot find within the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Self-control is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You don't have to sleep with someone so that you identify that, oh, I made a mistake. Oh, uh, 50 I women. Shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done that. You have a chance to prevent that before it actually happens. The Holy Spirit gives you self-control, but you have to let him. Yeah, and to be honest, what mm -hmm. I have learned about men, the moment you, you give yourself to them, respect goes down they mm -hmm. feel like they can do about anything and yeah. everything to you yeah. you know the moment you, you give yourself to this man that is the moment they'll stop calling you all the time they'll stop mm -hmm. texting you all the time yeah. they'll okay let's go back to i think we're drifting away from the topic <laughs> okay. but you know it, it's a it's a it's a huge topic to talk about it's it's wide Next time you should come, we talk about why women sleep alone. Yeah, I think that is another topic we should really talk That's about. That's another topic. It. Yeah. We should do that. I did a topic on why you keep sleeping with him in 2020, but I still feel people haven't heard everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because actually, um, okay, I will give this <laughs> point in that video. To, today it's about human. Yeah, it's, it's, about, it's about the men. men. About men. So what other reasons do you think men sleep on? I think another thing could be the people around them, they actually don't have someone to direct them or oh. a role model that they can actually look up to and realize I don't need to be this kind of person, maybe I can be this kind of person. Because, mm -hmm. especially in this generation, a lot of men have come out as people who just want to do things just for the sake of it, you know. Oh. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel if you surround yourself with people who impact you positively, mm -hmm. it will bring a better side of you oh, than being yes. around people who always want you to do almost the wrong things. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. To be honest, I really admire my grandpa. My grand, my grandfather has the best relationship with my grandmother. I would want to have that kind of relationship. Why? Because he he had a certain way of doing things, and I feel like if men would pick such a person to look up to and to behave in a certain way that is going to portray them in that good manner, then they'll stop sleeping around. Yeah. Because that is one thing I believe my grandfather didn't do. Actually, do you know what my gran grandfather used to do? Mm -hmm. Even when. He knew he would find something that would anger him to either fight or he would start whistling from a distance. Mm. And that way you would know grandpa is coming. If anything is wrong, you need to put it in the right oh, place. Wow. And I feel, yeah, they didn't sneak on you just to find you in the in mistakes. Wow. I just wish men can just find people they can look up to. Godly men, godly men, men with good character. Mm. You know Kabi or Jesus. Right? Yes, I know, I know Kabi. Kabi or Jesus, he he's, they they preach marriage work, and they preach Jesus in their YouTube channel. So, I really admire what he is uh -huh. as a man. Yeah, you know, he loves Christ. He's such a supportive partner, to husband, husband, yes. and a father, and a father. He does things in a certain way you'd even want to 
kneel down and tell God, God, I want a copy of my own. Yeah. You know. You know, I've I've had men who criticize him. Oh, he's you know, he's do, they doing this, he's doing that, he's putting a lot of pressure on us instead of picking something good from him. Instead of complaining. In, instead yeah, instead of complaining, yeah. pick that one thing that you can emulate from him. Mm -hmm. Let it build you into a better person. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I agree with you. Yeah, they just lack role models, yeah. good people they can actually look up to. And just to add, to reiterate on what you're saying, men can easily go to seminars, conferences, but men don't like buying books, like reading books. Some men, some men don't like reading books. Some men, when they go to YouTube, all they do is, I don't know, maybe watch football the whole time, play PS5. I've, I've seen you guys, I've seen you want PS5. Most men, don't have constructive pastime activities. Mm -hmm. Most men are either watching porn, we know, we know these things. Men are either watching porn, either watching uh, music videos with naked people, or... It is, it is actually so sad. It's so sad that men lack mentors. Yeah. A man can buy maybe a phone even worth 150K, but he cannot invest the same in going to maybe a christian seminar or yeah. something of the sort something of the sort and i think i also think actually today today a lot of things have been made easier for us you can almost get everything from the internet yeah. so i don't understand why instead of building yourself in a positive way instead of making yourself a better person you'd rather go sleeping around calling this lady. I also saw another meme like a whole string of conversations. A man texting like multiple women to see oh. who is gonna respond. I don't know whether you've seen that online. I don't think it I've is seen that. so disgusting. Oh. I don't know why someone cannot just date one person. Is it so hard to to, to be faithful to be to faithful one to person. just one person. And actually, when you're faithful with them, even when you're faithful with this person, you don't, you don't even have to sleep with them. You don't have to. You're not married. You you're don't have married. to. And the longer you wait, the more valuable this thing will be for you yeah. to, because you know it's something that you've really waited for, and you, you will actually value. Because yeah. by sleeping around, you devalue yourself. Pretty much that. Yeah. You devalue yourself. I can't stand men who sleep around. I know. Actually, it's, I meet you with this woman, the next time I meet you with another woman, the next time I meet I'm done. I'm not saying working with women is bad. I'm not saying... Uh, being... I, I'm sure they, they understand what I'm saying. Like, in yeah. terms of... You know, there's a way... If I if I met your friend Sally, mm -hmm. with a lady, and uh, when... You know, there's a way you can relate to someone, and you know, this is just more than friendship. So I believe the other reason that men sleep around is because women let them. That is so true. Women let men sleep around. You find that you know a man has really bad behavior or has really bad character, but you still want him to be your boyfriend. You still crave for him to sleep with you. So actually, it is so disturbing how women love bad boys. A lot of women love bad boys, you know? Toxic people do to on a to know father. This toxic why? I don't understand. I don't understand because mm -hmm. cause I believe a man cannot get it if you don't give it to him. Correct. Agreed. I agree with that. And the reason why women don't value good men is because you're simply not a good woman. You are True. simply not a good woman. That's why you attract bad people. I'm not saying bad things don't happen to good people, but I'm just saying you also have traits that easily attract a person with bad character. A good person, if hear a lady give them the name boring, he's a boring person. He's a boring guy. He's a boring guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's boring. He's so, and in the real sense, this person is just a nice person. He's just a nice man. He's a kind man. Yeah. You know what I learned the other day? 
I learned that are you really ready for the godly man? Are you really ready for the man who will tell you, get up, let's pray? Let's pray. Are you ready for that man who will tell you, no, don't watch that? Don't are you, dream. Are you, don't, you, are you ready for that man? Truly. Because most people say they want, I want a godly husband. I want a, God a godly husband. relationship. Yeah. But, but are, are you, you ready for it? Are you, are you really ready for that? Or you still have some traits in you that want other things? that want the bad boy thing and the reason why they're called bad boys is because they're bad people mm -hmm. they are bad people they are liars they are unfaithful they lack god in them they don't respect you everything that love is they are not yeah so mm -hmm. women let them and if all women said no then men wouldn't be sleeping around, sleeping around. so women have a role to play in yeah. this mm -hmm. yeah Moving on, I think another reason that men sleep around is because they're dealing with anxiety, they're dealing with stress, and they feel like the only way they can relieve themselves from it is by sleeping around. Wow. Yeah. Some of them are going through PTSD. PTSD is post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. Because of things that have happened to them before, they feel like they're so damaged, hardly they want to just sleep with each and everyone, everyone. Another thing could be they were abused when they were oh. little, so they're still dealing with the trauma. Wow. If you're dealing with anxiety, if you're dealing with stress, I believe that you should find a way to heal Mm -hmm. from whatever it is that you're going through yeah sleeping around is not a solution because mm -hmm. at the end of the day you will satisfy your physical desire but then you'll be inviting a lot of bad things because I, I believe when you sleep with someone you exchange spirit that, that's the you, easiest way that's the easiest way mm -hmm spirits are transferred and demonic activity Activities, happens yeah. through sex my people so when you think you're helping yourself by relieving yourself from the stress you're actually inviting other spirits mm -hmm. in you yes because you don't know where this person has been you don't know where this lady has been you don't know what they have been doing you, you don't know you just don't know you and just and you, you're just comfortable sleeping with them and even without protection Mm -hmm. Actually, with or without protection, it's just with or without. wrong. Mm -hmm. Deal with yourself. Heal from whatever thing that is troubling you. Sex is never a solution. If anything, it it depresses you even more. Cause utakome fanya kitueni uta regret in one way or another. Cause I believe ladies get attached through sex. Yes, yes. So when you're thinking. You're helping yourself, you're inviting so many souls, they now destroy you even more. Let me say something on that, where you've talked about allowing spirits. You know the Bible says, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So if you're not a Christian, if you're not born again, then that means your temple is being used for other things. Yeah. If you're not walking in Christ, your temple is an altar for other things, mm -hmm. where some things may be birthed within you or be manifested within you because you don't have Christ. Yeah. The only way you can bear good fruit is to have the correct seed. Mm -hmm. And you have to have the seed of Christ. You have to allow Christ to help you. Yeah. You can only heal through having Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and then seek help. Talk to somebody. Yeah. Talk to a counselor. Mm -hmm. If you can't find a counselor or afford that, Talk to a friend, someone you trust, so that they don't take your information outside. outside then yeah. you get depressed again because they talked about you somewhere. Yeah. Seek help. Seek help. Hurting people hurt others. That's it. Mm. Hurting people hurt others. Yes, and actually, even when you're hurting someone, you're actually hurting yourself mm -hmm. more. Because mm -hmm. I believe when someone cries over you or makes feels bad because of you, mm. In a way, it will affect you. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. God has a way of punishing people. 
for their mistakes. When you repent, God will forgive you. But when you go hurting people, it's just not right. That's not compassionate. That's not kind. Because even when you're going sleeping around with that person, you're hurting them in a way. Because you'll sleep with them today and maybe you won't sleep with them again. And maybe now they did that because maybe they liked you or they wanted yeah. to feel connected to you. Yeah. So you end up hurting people mm -hmm. in the name of making yourself feel good. Yeah. If you are a man, if you are a man and you are watching this or you know of a brother who needs help mm -hmm. or even your family member, I believe the best thing to do is pray about it first. Ask God to forgive you your sins because he truly can. He's just to forgive us our sins mm -hmm. and he, he doesn't punish us as our sins deserve mm -hmm. because we wouldn't be here if True. he punished us mm -hmm. according to our sins. Yeah. So it's possible. You can stop sleeping around because it's an addiction. Sleeping around is an addiction, mm. yes. And you also find that people who do sleep around, they have this insatiable appetite where they watch porn, they mm. masturbate, they have sex in orgies. Yeah. The list is endless. Yeah. yeah. You just need to search yourself and just uh, ensure that you don't go around uh, creating ties that you can avoid yes you can avoid you can really you can avoid, avoid them yeah. it doesn't harm to have one person that you can walk in that journey with mm -hmm. to get to a beautiful place a place where you get married and have kids you know yeah, yeah. build a life and build a life yeah. Okay, guys. I hope you've picked something for this. <laughs> it's, it's such a deep topic. It's such a deep it's, topic. It, it's kind of sad. Yeah, and men, let me tell you something, men. You don't have to sleep around if you... I'm not, I'm not saying you sleep around because you want to, but I'm just saying no one has to pressure you to sleep around. You are your own man, literally. Yeah. <laughs> you are your own man, and you are not weak by not sleeping around. That mm -hmm. thing between your leg functions that thing functions properly you don't have to try and see does this <laughs> machine work <laughs> it works trust me you go to the washroom it works <laughs> it works yeah. yeah so you no one has to pressure you to do that and you still have a character to uphold and great men fall because of having sex recklessly mm -hmm. how many leaders have died and you've had they had secret children somewhere that's how men fall a lot of yes. drama going around about deadbeat dads mm -hmm. and all you yeah. can really avoid you can avoid guys. this cycle of yeah uh, you know uh, like having a child now that you've spoken about that growing as a child that doesn't have a that really breaks that human being growing up even maybe I ever men sleep around because of that, you know? Yeah. Because they, they, they have never had a father figure around oh, them. Yeah. And it's actually the same applies to lady, oh, ladies. Yeah. So growing up, it's important to have a dad figure in your life. So don't deprive your child of that. Yeah. Just because you want to sleep around. You can just focus on one lady that you're really interested in, build something with them, marry them. Marry them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> I guess that's it for today. Yeah. Yeah. If I still feel that we have a lot more to talk about. This is like a one hour conversation. We could drop a two on men. Yeah. And if you're a man there, you could send yeah. in your questions, your questions and your comments. Yeah, will, and what you actually yeah. think about you guys and sleeping around when it comes to you guys and sleeping around. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like maybe we should do a ladies one to give also men time to to respond. To respond, yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh -huh. Have you subscribed? Uh, have you? Have you? Uh -huh. Have you? Kindly subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Yeah. Bye. Okay, so till then, <laughs> till then, we'll see you another time. I, I hope oh. she'll still be in my other video. Ah, I, I hope, hope she'll so still too. be. I hope yeah. so too. <laughs> yes. 
Okay, I told yeah, I've had a good time yeah, me recording too. this video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see you another time. Till then. Bye. bye.